What the hell? The very first Nerf darts were... <laughs> Uh, man, what a sight. They would jam all the time. I remember my partner Ralph and I were patrolling the cul-de-sac. From up the street, Biffy just got a, a new bike for entering the sixth grade. He thought he could get into our territory easy peasy. He was blazing down the street. My partner and I, two pops each. Now let me tell you, the mechanism wasn't as clean as it is these days, so you had to be accurate and you had to be fast. And when we missed all of our shots, what did I do? I threw the gun to the spokes of his tires and he flew through the air. I may have lost my weapon, but I became a legend. Biffy had his first picture day in a cast. <sighs> the end strike movement. Look at that fucking firepower, baby. This is what happens when you overinvest in the military. Who in God's name needs a giant dart at the front end, a six shooter on the bottom, and then a nice little pea shooter on the side, just in case you aren't compensating enough already. When the end strike came out, the gutters ran red. Little Donnie, uh, <laughs> he wasn't 55 pounds, slopping wet, going down a slip and slide. Real chicken leg kid. Unfortunately for Donnie, his uncle Sam didn't know that the end strike movement had begun. So he was sent out here to the dogs with this pea shooter, while us big boys, including the enemy, at these big boys. You know, I tried to take him under my wing, show him the ropes. Excuse me. Ah, that's the stuff. I saw a kid walking around with a yerba mache. What? Ah. You know, I tried taking Donnie under my wing, you know, teach him the ropes. And it was going well, you know, but uh, about an hour in, the older kids came, and with the end strike, well, <laughs> Chicken legs never stood a chance. Ended up tripping on a lawn ornament. Scraped his knee pretty bad. He cried and cried, and his mom had to carry him away. He was so young. When I visited him bedside, he had a pretty sick Star Wars band-aid on. But that youthful light was no longer in his eyes. <sighs> Shit really changed with the Vulcan. What the hell are you doing? This is a literal machine gun. Not only had some of the kids been playing Call of Duty, I played Modern Warfare 3 on the Wii. It was trash. Uh. With better war tactics, better weapons, nowhere was safe. Shed rooftops, play structures, even some large bushes were hideout stations. Yeah. Biff had rounded up three other streets. And they were closing in fast. Everything was at stake. Our Pokemon cards. The right to sell lemonade. But the thing they wanted most of all from us was the revolutionary technology we had acquired. The moon shoe. The beginning of 08 was a cold war. We all knew the sort of devastation that could be caused by these weapons of mass destruction. And it was also winter, so it was kind of cold out. We'd rather just stay inside, like read comic books or something. But I got the troops together and I told them, this is our time to strike. One by one, we would take out the enemy. Sometimes in the dead of night before we got called in for dinner. Sometimes even during morning cartoons. So when the groundhog finally lifted its head and spring came, it was a fair fight. So we had to make it unfair. A new kid, David, moved in. Replaced the McCasters, lovely old couple. Would give out Hershey bars at Halloween. Rest their souls. But David, let's just say, David had come up with a way to make the nerf darts more impactful. David would be able to turn this simple six-shot maverick into something the later nerf vortex models <laughs> would only attempt to achieve. It was simple. You get a spring that can compress more. That means more power. And, well, not necessarily the most moral thing. You put tacks at the end of the dart. That summer was a bloody mess. And by the end of it, the beast had been slain. Unable to admit defeat, Biffy said he didn't even want to play anymore, you know. He was interested in girls now. <laughs> Did I just eat myself? Oh shit. Yeah. You know, I haven't thought about this shit in a while. <laughs> it's, uh, it's good to remember, you know. Alright, I'm gonna go take a shit and you have a good day.